Okay, hi everyone. Let's go through this example that'll that will illustrate fixed cost and fixed cost per units. Now, we're going to assume we're running a pizza business, okay? And I don't know if these costs are realistic or not. I just made them up. But we'll just say in our pizza business, this is what we've tracked so far. We've had four months of data. We, sold, we made and sold 10,000 pizzas in January, 20,000 in February, 15,000 in March, and April we had a great month and, and sold 40,000. Um, the costs, our total cost, were 34,000 in total. Okay? So if we were to graph fixed cost, it's going to look like this. And I'll just slide this off so you can see it. Right? And I think what we're assuming here is the fixed costs are just the pizza manager's salaries. And for simplicity, that's it. So we've got one pizza manager that works for us. He makes 34000 a month. Um, or actually, this is more than one uh, pizza manager. We've got a bunch of them, and, and the, the total is 34000 a month. So if we were to graph that, we see it's always 34000 a straight line. And then I added the equation of the line, and it says y equals 34000 So what it's saying is in the x-y relationship where x is the independent variable, and that would be the units made and sold, Regardless of what X is, Y is always 34,000. And so we see fixed costs are a straight line. Okay, now I'm going to move over and say, well, what about unit costs? Well, look how that's calculated. You take the cost divided by the unit sold. So we have a numerator constantly being divided by a larger number, right? Now, it's, it's a larger number when we line them up between low and high units, not by month. Right? I mean, that's why 227 is higher than 170, but when we actually do an XY chart where we measure the X to the Y, we get something that looks like this. And let me slide this over so you can see the chart here. I'll, I still want to keep the data out there. Maybe we can see it through here. Let me give this a shot and move this over. Um, okay, so now you're beginning to see a little bit of the chart, and you see that when we graph this, we, we see that when we had the smallest units, we had the highest dollars per unit, and we had the most units, the end result is the lowest cost per unit. And we see that in the data here. So let me slide over a little bit, and I'll show you the whole, the whole uh, graph there. Move that out of the way. And so you see that if we were to graph fixed cost per unit, uh, it's a... It's it's a sloped line, and it's actually curved linear, right? It's curved, and that's just a result of how the math works.